day to you. Welcome back. My name's Ollie, and here's your loaf of sweet, sweet daily bread. Today's loaf of bread comes to us by way of the poet and mystic, Khalil Gibran, and he says, I have found both freedom and safety in my madness, the freedom of loneliness and the safety from being understood. For those who understand us, enslave something in us. I chose this particular quote today because I wanted to respond to one of my viewers on YouTube. Now I don't remember this particular individual's name, but I remember the comment that they left on one of my videos, and it was totally unrelated to the actual subject matter of the video itself. What this person wanted to know was, how do I react to people who think I'm crazy? And he wanted to know especially how I react to people who are close to me who think I'm crazy. And my response to this person was, I say thank you to those people. Because to be considered crazy in an insane world is actually quite the compliment. But there's more to it than that. And I think that Khalil Gibran gets into it in this quote. There is freedom in madness. Madness being deviant thought. Thought that strays from what we might call the norm. There's great freedom in that. See, normalcy is a trap. It's a box that you have to fit into. And if you fit into the box, you're considered normal. But the box is a prison. And it prevents you from being who you truly are. It prevents you from having independent thoughts. And it prevents you from being truly free. So there is freedom in madness. Now the other thing that Gibran touches on in this particular passage is the fact that when people understand you, when people have you figured out, they enslave something in you. Because to understand someone means to put a label on them. When you're having a debate with someone or you're having a heated conversation and it finally clicks and you go, oh, this guy's a conservative or this guy is a fundamentalist or whatever. In that moment, you've just labeled that person and you've dismissed them. So when people understand you, this is what essentially they're doing. They're putting a label on you and then they're able to dismiss you. They're able to say, oh, of course he says that. He's a progressive. Or of course she says that. She's a feminist or whatever. They like to throw labels on you. But when you're crazy like me, labels don't stick. They can't. There is no label that works for me because as soon as someone thinks they understand me, I will say something that will dispel the myth that they understand me. The moment someone says, oh, this guy's a stoic, I break out the Buddhism. I break out the Taoism. I start talking about the mystical experience. As soon as someone says, oh, this guy's a, this guy's a mystic, I start talking about cognitive behavioral therapy. I start talking about psychology and science. So you see, you can't pin me down and you can't put a label on me. I can't be understood. I don't understand myself. How can you understand me? So to the person who wanted to know how I deal with people who think that I'm crazy, I reiterate. My response to those people is to say thank you because it means that I'm on the right path and I'm living life on my own terms. And in a world that preaches conformity and rewards blind faith, I think being considered crazy is quite the compliment. Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Thank you once again for joining me and don't forget to live well.